Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change scaling for specific applications on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So however you normally would open up your program, whether you're going to do a start menu shortcut or if it's a desktop shortcut, you want to go ahead and locate the icon. So I'm just going to type in Chrome, for example, and I'm just going to right-click on the search result in here. And I'm going to select Open File Location. And now I'm going to right-click on the actual shortcut that should appear in this list. And select Properties. Again, you will do this for any application you're looking to adjust the scaling for. And once you've done that, select the Compatibility tab. And then where it says Change High DPI Settings, Go ahead and select that. And then at this point, go ahead and check mark where it says use the setting to fix scaling problems for this program instead of the one in settings. And then underneath high DPI scaling override, check mark inside of there. Click on the drop down. And then you have three different options here. Application, which was previously named disable display scaling on high DPI settings, which would force apps to run on a per monitor DPI awareness mode. So meaning that Windows will not stretch the user interface of the app when the DPI scaling changes. The system option will stretch the user interface of the app, which makes the text in the application potentially blurry. And then you also have system enhanced, which will resize the user interface correctly and make the interface look crisper and more alive, I guess, maybe be the right word for it. I'm actually gonna select the enhanced, the system enhanced option here. And then again, you can select any option that suits your needs. And then once you're done, you would select OK. And then OK one more time. And that's pretty much it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do buzz to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.